Hello and welcome. This is Katie. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm excited to share that I'm part of the Maker Forte design team and with that is my first blog video and blog post here on YouTube and over on the Maker Forte blog. For today's project I thought it would be fun to create some quick Valentine cards using the watercolor heart stamp set and some color hive inks. So here you can see this is the watercolor hearts background stamp and it's got several sentiments in there. I'm going to be using a piece of acetate. We're going to do like a watercolor wash ink smushing technique. And I've got some hot pressed watercolor paper that's 100% cotton. And I've got some color hive inks in bubblegum, flamingo, tip tree jam, blue moon, Welsh dragon, and tartan teal. And the technique is super simple. I am only going to show... Um, the technique uh, in both sets of colors and then the stamping I'm only going to show one card because it's pretty repetitive. So here I'm going to start with um, bubblegum and I put more bubblegum down than I did flamingo and tip tree jam. I wanted to keep the colors lighter and because the flamingo and tip tree jam are a lot darker. Uh, I didn't want those colors to overpower the background. So here I'm uh, I spritz some clean clear water on my acetate and flip that over and uh, put it onto the watercolor panel. Now you could do the reverse. You could lay your acetate down on your desk and then spritz it with water and then put your uh, watercolor panel over. But I wanted to show you that either way works. Even if you drip, you know, spots on there, it's still going to smush out and it's going to be totally fine. And I did a second generation with the remaining ink that was on the acetate. And now I'm going to come in with Blue Moon, Welsh Dragon, and Tartan Teal. Again, using more Blue Moon than Welsh Dragon and Tartan Teal, uh, just to keep everything a little bit lighter. So spritzing that up with some uh, clean, clear water, and then I'm going to smush that down. And here you can see I dripped some as I was flipping over and it really doesn't matter. I am taking a paper towel and picking up uh, this, the seepage out of the sides of the acetate um, to keep everything clean. And then I'm going to come in and do a second generation on another piece of watercolor paper. And then I'm going to come in and do it again for a third time because I had a little bit extra ink on there that I wanted to be able to use. So I got a little black ink that I'm pointing out there, but that's okay because I'm going to use the Eclipse Black ink uh, on our uh, Hearts Background stamp. And this stamping that I'm doing, I had to do it several times and it's only because it's watercolor paper. Watercolor paper, even though this is hot pressed and super smooth, it does have a texture to it. So what I found that was that I would needed to ink up my stamp and instead of using the smusher tool like I'm using the first few times, I need to just quickly stamp down, lift up, ink again, and stamp down and do that a couple of times because the longer I left the stamp on the more the ink would li lift back up onto the stamp so for this uh, particular stamp and with these inks you want to make sure that you ink up the stamp quick and stamp down quick don't hold the stamp down uh, for longer than a second you know and smush it down and lift it back up that way you'll get a much darker impression if that's what you are looking for. As I went through and made the other cards, which you're going to see here in a few minutes, I figured that out and was able to get the tip tree jam to, because um, I think that was the last set that I did, uh, give a much more solid impression versus the black or even the tartan teal. The tartan teal did pretty good, but it's still a little bit splotchy, but it's okay because it's, they still look really, really nice. So here I used the with love stamp from the set and some white embossing powder on some heavyweight black cardstock. I've got some slate cardstock for my A2 side folding card base, and I'm going to use some one inch score tape to uh, adhere my panel to my card base. Now I did die cut the background with a postage stamp die set that I had in my stash. And I just think these are the cutest thing. And they really, to me, even though obviously it's a postage stamp die, but it looks like you could 
buy these at the Postal Service um, for, you know, for postage. Now here I show, I'm showing you that I created banners for these two panels. This is the Tip Tree Jam uh, for the Solid Hearts. And I think they're so, so pretty how those came out. Um, but I didn't like the... Um, black stamping on the panel it just the sentiment didn't stand out enough for me and so I ended up just doing a whole set with these little banners and here is each of the cards I did a couple in the black stamping I did the tartan teal up there in the top right and these are the tip tree jam all created the same the inside panel is a, an 80 pound weight white layering cardstock and that wraps up the cards my friends i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i want to thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you have a fantastic day i'll catch you in the next video